Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to curve text in Cricut Design Space. So with um, the updates in the last year or two, it's pretty easy to curve now. So we're going to click on text to get our text box here. And then I'm just going to type in a text. So I'm just going to type in hello. And let's choose just a, a basic font here. So we're going to click this. Okay, so right up here, you'll see it says curve. And if you click down on it, it has the diameter. So this curves into just a diameter of a circle. So um, it will curve kind of a lot. So it won't be elliptical or anything. It's just a straight circle. So if you go to the right, you'll see that those letters curve down. And if you go to the left, you'll see that they curve up. So pretty easy. So if you want it to curve down, let's go this way. And then you can also make your letters closer together just by going to the letter space and clicking those closer. And you'll see they go closer together. You can even curve it a little bit more after that if you want. Okay, so once you have it how you want it, you're gonna come down and click attach. Okay, so there's just a basic curve. So let's try one with cursive. So try to move this up and we'll go into, go into a <clears throat> cursive font and you'll see that these are not connected together. So there's two options here. You can either curve it first and then put the letters together or put the letters together. So I'm gonna actually click down on the letter space and push these as close as I can. The problem is once you ungroup these, you cannot curve it again. So if I go like this, because a lot of times to get this to curve, I would come either up into advanced ungroup to letters, or you can hit ungroup here and click this. And now if I move these closer together, so that they're touching. If I go back in it, you'll see my curve is not up there anymore. And even if I click attach, I don't get the curve function. So once you ungroup these, you can't go back in and do the curve with the function here. So let's see as good as we can get here. So if we go into the curve, and again, we're gonna and curve it this way and then you'll see that once you curve it enough it kind of starts getting flatter well, let's try to curve it a little bit more okay so that's pretty good so now that it's about how I want it I can ungroup it but again once I ungroup it I can't use this curve function anymore so I'm going to ungroup it and then I'm just going to move the HN kind of where I want it. Maybe move this L a little bit closer and then grab this O. Kind of like that. Okay. So then I would go in and use my cursor to select all of that and again come down and actually with the cursive font I like to weld it together so there's no separate little pieces in there since they're touching each other. So I'm going to click weld. Okay, so there I have that one. So another way that you can curve it kind of how you want it is to curve it around shapes. So I'm going to add a circle in here. And so with the curvature, how I was saying, it just curves around a circle. So this is like a dia diameter of a three inch circle, but say I don't want it that curved. So this would really fit pretty close to that, but say I want it flatter than that. I'm gonna unlock my circle and then I'm gonna stretch it out with this. So see how this is much more curved than what this would be. 
So I'm going to add in a text box, box again. Let's do hello. And let's go back to the basic here. And I'm going to move it up here. And I'm actually going to use the align keys. And if you're working on like an app on your um, iPad or something like that, this is how you would have to do it because the, an app on the phone and on iPad does not have the curvature function yet. So this would be a way that you would do it with that by adding a circle and moving them all separately. So I'm gonna actually align this first. So I'm gonna put them both in a box and I'm gonna go up to align and I'm gonna center them horizontally. Okay, so now that they're here, I'm gonna move it down so it kind of touches just the bottom there. And I'm gonna zoom in here down at the bottom, click the plus so we can see it better. So I'm gonna come up to here on the right side and click the ungroup. So now I can move them any way I want. So I'm actually gonna move this down so it touches and then rotate it. and move it so pretty much it just fits right along that curve. This E, I'll probably just move it a little bit. This way, the L is right in the middle. This one, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit and actually move it to the side and then this O. Might rotate it some and move it. So now they're all on this curved surface here. So then I'm just going to move this out of the way so I don't select it. I'm going to use my cursor and hold that down and now come down to attach this. So that's just, like I said, curved a little bit, much less than if this huge curve here. So it really just depends on what you're making and how much you want to curve it. But you can use kind of either method. And if you wanted to curve, say, like the bottom one, if you wanted to curve it up, let's put our hello back in here. I'm gonna move it actually in front here. I'm gonna center this again, align, center. And then I'm gonna come to my ungroup, click it, and move them each individually. So I'm gonna move that up, rotate it around, and just so those bottoms of those feet there are pretty much laying right on the line there. Move that one, this one up a little bit, and I'm gonna curve it, and this one up, and rotate that around. Okay, so again, I'm going to move this out of the way or delete it. Use my cursor to grab that and click attach. Okay, so those are the two ways that you can curve text pretty easily in Cricut Design Space.